My name is Dr. Shipra Kumar and I am working as consultant gynecologist at Manipal Hospital in Pune. So today we will be talking about menopausal health. As we know, the average lifespan has increased all over the years from an average of 45 years in at, uh, at the time of independence, it has gone to now 70 years. That means more and more women are going to live after menopause and that life should be healthy and purposeful. So we're going to talk about what is menopause and what are the problems and how do we manage them. So first of all, what is menopause? The absence of periods or the uh, monthly cycles is for a period of one, uh, one year is menopause. So, and what is the average age? The average age is around 45 to 50. So we can say around 47 for Indian women. So what are the symptoms of menopause? So menopause can, you can have visible symptoms or invisible symptoms. So the visible symptoms would be like irregular periods and hot flashes. So uh, according to the periods, these periods may vary for everyone. You know, every woman, some women may have it early, heavy periods before menopause or some women may just have a smooth menopause where there be irregularity and slowly and slowly and steadily they will achieve menopause. So the best way to manage ir period ir irregularity is to visit your gynecologist. The second is hot flashes. Now hot flashes is, some, is something like a warmth feeling or the woman may break into a sweat suddenly and this may also disturb the sleep and they can be actually very painful for the women. Uh, we'll come to the management of, men, uh, of hot flashes in a moment. Next is the invisible ones which happen start happening even before the woman attains menopause and these include the loss of bone that is the osteopenia or osteoporosis which is one of the most debilitating and most frequently occurring problem of menopause. The other is cardiovascular uh, risk. The cardiovascular risk after menopause uh, almost all uh, all men and women are at the same uh, risk of uh, cardiovascular or heart disease. So a uh, healthy lifestyle again is very important for women post menopause. The third important thing is the presence of cancers. As we age, we are more prone to cancers, both men and women. And that is true for postmenopausal women. So how do we deal with all this? So for irregular periods, as I said previously also, that you need to be regular with your checkups. You need to see the gynecologist in case you have heavy bleeding especially. Second is the hot flashes. Here comes the importance of lifestyle modification. Here you exercise is one of the most important things to help with postmenopausal hot flashes. So, and of course, dietary. So diet, again, including soya bean, atta in your diet, including proteins in your diet, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, have, having less of tea and coffee, and of course, a regular sleep at, of eight hours at night will help, help you manage these hot flashes. If these uh, postmenopausal hot flashes are not helped by your dietary changes and exercise, then medications are always available. You can consult your gynecologist for the same. Next, coming to bone loss. Now, the bone loss starts occurring much before the menopause happens, say around the age of 35. So exercise again plays a very important role. It is the bone loss is generally preceded by muscle loss that is also known as sarcopenia and exercise takes care of it. So weight bearing exercise, especially like cycling and swimming in postmenopausal and perimenopausal help will help the woman uh, gain muscle mass and also bone mass. Second is calcium intake, good calcium diet, calcium rich diet like nuts, broccoli, dairy, uh, milk, yogurt in your diet should be included. 
Besides that, calcium supplements can always be given by your doctor. Third is the risk of cancers. So cervical cancer and breast cancer are the most important cancers. And after the age of 40, every woman should undergo testing for these. So uh, with this, I like to with this. Next is the risk of cardiovascular disease. As I said, women are at the same risk as men after menopause for cardiovascular disease. Here again, your exercise and dietary changes will help you prevent cardiovascular problems. Last but not the least, I like to sum up my talk that diet and exercise are most important for a healthy menopause. Thank you so much.